welcome Tedsters. My name is Bess. <laughs> okay, good, good, good. Okay, I had to get you up here. She stuck me up. Now, my name is Alex Patakos. Uh, I'm here in wonderful Hong Kong from the States. And I not only get the opportunity to start things off today, but I also will be giving a talk at the end of the day. So I expect all of you to stay for the entire day as well as the event uh, and celebration afterwards. Uh, one of the reasons that Bess, the actual Bess, who is here, thank God, uh, asked me to start things off is that you'll notice that Radical Resilience Week and the Radical Resilience theme of this TEDx event is, is really been inspired by Viktor Frankl. So how many of you, by raising hands, how many of you ha are familiar with the name Viktor Frankl? Other than reading all the signs along the, in the good lab, okay. Uh, if you haven't read Viktor Frankl's book, Man's Search for Meaning, I highly recommend that you do so. Viktor Frankl was uh, my mentor, and he personally urged me to write a book uh, that I wrote called Prisoners of Our Thoughts, and I believe we have copies of it. Actually, I know we have copies of it. I'm just trying not to put a marketing plug in here to violate <laughs> TED policy uh, here uh, at TEDx. But I just want to say just a few words about Viktor Frankl, since not all of you are familiar with him. Uh, Viktor Frankl was a... Uh, a neurologist, a medical doctor. He became a psychiatrist, and then later in his life, he, he actually uh, also earned his PhD in existential philosophy. And he's probably one of the, you know, and given the fact that as a protege, I get a chance to stand on his shoulders, uh, he's probably one of the greatest thinkers in modern times. Uh, he survived the Holocaust. Uh, those of you who are familiar with him, uh, Dr. Frankel was a prisoner in, in four different Nazi death camps. Uh, he survived them, including Auschwitz. He lost all members of his family but one at the time, including his, his first wife, who uh, was carrying a child. So he went through horrific circumstances. I mean, probably things that we hear, no matter what we've gone through in our lives and what we will go through in our lives, it's pretty hard to imagine. Yet the one thing about Viktor Frankl, and I remember you know, being with him in his home in Vienna, Austria, in his study, and I was describing to him that I wanted to take his philosophy and his school of psychotherapy into you know, the modern times with my unique spin. And uh, at that time, I remember him grabbing my arm and saying, Alex, yours is the book that needs to be written. And I looked at his eyes, and it was amazing, this, the passion. And I happen to be of Greek heritage. If you hang around here long enough, uh, you'll, you will certainly find that out by my TED Talk. But I looked at him and I said, boy, he has more passion and enthusiasm than most Greeks have. So, I mean, it was really passion. I mean, and, and you look at somebody and you say, this guy has been through things that we can't even imagine what he's been through. And I know everybody in this room has their own story, but I think the idea of radical resilience is embodied in the spirit of Viktor Frankl. And I'm honored and humbled to be able to kick off this TEDx event with this really paying tribute. And some of you actually rec will remember that his, his birthday, uh, was uh, not too many weeks ago. And there was actually some effort to, to celebrate his birthday here in Hong Kong. So I just want to kind of kick off and, and, and want to encourage you to you know, read some of the quotes that are in the program, the quotes that are in the, the Good Lab here. And, and I want you to really have the opportunity to hopefully read uh, Viktor Frankl's work uh, afterwards and keep this notion of radical resilience uh, in, in your mind, in your heart, and in your spirit as you go through everything we're going to go through today, and obviously, even more importantly, after you leave here.